Okay, here we go. Lesson four. Multiply and divide positive and negative integers. I think we do mostly multiplication today, but uh, we'll see. Our vocabulary today, and this is essential knowledge. The identity property, the zero product property, the commutative property, and the distributive property. You're going to look those up on uh, line today and put them in your notes along with some examples and that'll be shown on these next few pages. The first one you're going to do is the identity property of multiplication. Let's look up identity property of multiplication on Google or Bing and write down its definition and then find some examples of exactly what it looks like using numbers and variables and get that in your notes. Then you'll do the zero product property search that exact property and do the same thing get that in your notes along with some examples using variables and numbers also the commutative property properties you'll use all through your geometry and algebra 2 classes for sure all the way through high school and the distributive property really important property for algebra especially uh, you got to get the hang of what the arrows look like. So if you see examples that use arrows, uh, you'll know what I mean when you see that. So look that up and get that in your notes as well. Okay, after you're done with those notes, it'll be time for some computations and you may use calculators to make sure that your tables are exactly correct and you'll see what I mean on this next page. So what I want you to do is copy both of these tables exactly as you see them. Write 3 times 3 on the left, 3 times 2 on the left, 3 times 1 in the left column, and the product, the result of that multiplication. And I know you know 3 times 3 is 9, and 3 times 2 is 6, etc. But we're learning to multiply integers, so 3 times negative 1. If you need to, use your calculator, put the answer in there. 3 times negative 2, and 3 times negative 3. Um, on the table 2 there, all of the first numbers in the multiplication are negative, so you will also be multiplying negative times negative on those bottom three problems. Make sure you get the right answer. Use calculators to discover what that will be, or ask me as I wander around. When you finish copying those two, you will make a couple more charts. First, you will use fours, so I want you to do four times three, four times two, four times one, four times zero, four times negative one, four times negative two, and 4 times negative 3. Exactly like that example on the left, but the first number would be 4 for all of them. Okay? And then I want you to do the same thing again, this time with 8s, excuse me, 8s. So we'll do the exact same thing. And we'll do some negatives later too, but for now just 8s. And then one more and you'll use sixes. So those numbers are the ones that I want you to use, and that will be it. So thank you very much for listening, and I really appreciate your diligence again today. Your notebook is looking amazing, and I believe you are well on your way to earning a very good grade in here. Keep it up. Keep it up. Always, always, always. And if you hear any background noise, that's just my family wandering around the house. So good job. Thank you for your attention and for your diligence with math. All those represent intelligence. Have a good day, everybody.